How are we doing today, YouTube family? Mike Durante here, and we are back again with another Photoshop breakdown. But before we get into today's video, I think I need to change it up a little bit. I'm still wearing the same shirt, and all the lights are the same colors, so give me one moment. Let's start with the shirt, and then let's add a different color into this room. I'm feeling a purple vibe. One more. All right, now we're talking and ready to get into today's video. So in this video, I'm bringing you guys the second installment of the Photoshop Breakdown series. And today we're gonna be going over how I made this edit. So over the next few minutes, I'm gonna be taking you guys from this base image to the finished product. But my last Photoshop breakdown that I did was a lot longer than I initially expected, so I'm gonna try and beat that today, make it a much quicker video. And with that being said, I got no time to waste, so let's hop into Adobe Photoshop and break down how I made this edit. So for starters, these were the various stock images that I used in this edit. So my first step in this edit was to mask out the puddle and separate it from the rest of the image. I just used the pen tool and drew to my best ability to cut out the puddle and then on the layer that was actually the puddle I decided to increase the feather to sort of have it blur out on the edges. Following this I went to the layer without the puddle and decided to take out the sky because I knew I wanted to put some form of mountains in the background. For this I just used the quick selection tool and cut out the sky. If the guy in the shot wasn't wearing a white hat, white shirt, white shoes, I probably would have been able to use color range but it didn't end up working the way I wanted so I just used the good old classic quick selection tool. After this I changed the blending mode of the puddle to soft light so that the city we were placing below it would pierce through. And then I duplicated that layer once just to have it a little bit more prominent. Following this I dropped in my base image and it actually worked out a lot better than I thought because I didn't realize that there was also a reflection in this shot. This really helped sell the realism of the effect and I probably would have completely forgot to duplicate my mountains and put them in the reflection as well. So shout out to this stock image for really saving my day. At this point I was ready to place in my city skyline and instead of putting it below the water since there wasn't any ripples in the puddle I actually decided to place it on top. I kept the blending mode on normal and just decreased the opacity to around 58 ish but anywhere from 40 to 60 probably would have worked perfectly fine. Once I was done with this I decided to make a layer mask and brush out some of the background just so that it went from road right to the mountains and that that wall on the side wasn't really making any form of an issue with the edit. While I was doing that too, I brushed the edges of the puddle just to make it look a little bit smoother and more realistic. On top of everything we've done so far, I then duplicated the puddle cutout, changed the blending mode to multiply, and decreased the opacity to somewhere around 60. I kind of just used my eyes to find a spot that looked good. To me, this really helped make the contrast of the puddle match the rest of the image a lot better, and that was essentially it for the composite portion of this edit. Once I finished this, I duplicated all my work so far, put it into a group, merged that group, and then applied a camera raw filter to it to do my lighting and basic correction edits. And you could have stopped here, the image looks absolutely amazing, but I wanted to do one last step just to make all of the items I composited blend ever so slightly better together. I added a hue and saturation adjustment, picked a nice bluish tint that I liked, and then decrease the opacity to about 50 to 60 just so that it gave the image a nice blue tint to it. And since I already did my camera raw adjustments, the edit's done. That's what I'm talking about. This video definitely was quicker than the last Photoshop breakdown I did. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel because we are pumping out content like it is our job. Oh wait. I am a content creator, so it is my job. But I hope all you guys have an amazing rest of your day and make sure to take a little bit of time today to push towards your dreams. And with that, I'm Mike Durante and I will see you guys in the next one.